to another video hope you're doing great today we are going to discuss the job updates from integral coach factory chennai they invites online applications from eligible candidates for apprenticeship under integral coach factory so here we are going to discuss the complete details selection details all regarding this job opening so watch the video completely without skipping and if you're watching my channel for the first time please subscribe my channel also so candidates can apply through online mode till 21st june 2024 by visiting the official web portal of icf so application date already started that is 22nd may 2024 and the last date of closing application is 21st june 2024 total vacancy is uh, 324 coming under freshers and 670 for xita so we can see the vacancy details category wise vacancy in the trade of carpenter for unreserved 18 vacancy obc 11 sc candidate 6 st 3 and pwbd 2 and total 40 vacancy next is electrician 80 vacancy for unreserved category then obc 11 uh, sc candidate 6 st 3 and pwbd 2 So here also twenty vacancy. Next is fitter thirty seven vacancy for unreserved twenty two for OBC twelve for SC candidates six for ST and three for PWBD. Then eighty vacancies total. Same way machine is total forty vacancy. You can see the category by vacancy here painter forty and welder also eighty. And in case of X ITI for carpenter. Unreserved category twenty two and for that total is fifty and for electrician total one sixty fitter one eighty machinist fifty painter also fifty and welder one eighty so total is six seventy. Next is next is medical lab technician radiology. Then medical lab technician pathology and programming and system administration assistant. Total vacancy for freshers is ten and. For XITA also ten vacancy. So next we are moving to the important note that is given here: candidates with qualifications, engineering degree or diploma, and course complete act apprentices are not eligible to apply. And this notification is purely for giving apprenticeship training and not for employment. Next is eligibility conditions. First of all, age. Age of the candidates will be. Age of the candidates will be reckoned on as on twenty first June twenty twenty four. ITA candidates should have completed fifteen years of age and should not have completed twenty five years of age. And for non ITA candidates should have completed fifteen years of age and should not have completed twenty two years of age. And upper age limit is relaxable by five years for SC ST candidates and three years for OBC candidates. And for persons with disability, upper age limit is relaxable by ten years. So this is regarding the age, and the candidates who want to avail the benefit of reservation of SC ST must produce her or his caste certificate. The next is minimum education qualifications and training period for XIT in the trade of fitter, electrician and machinist. Qualification is should have passed tenth class with a minimum of fifty percentage marks with science and maths, and under plus two system or its equivalent, and also possess national trade certificate in the not notified trade issued by the National Council for Voc Vocational. Training or state council for vocational training of one year and above. Period of training is one year. Next trade is carpenter, painter, and welder. Should have passed class tenth with a minimum fifty percentage marks under plus two system, and it's equivalent and also possess national trade certificate. So the training period is also one year. Next is programming and system admin assistant. Here also. Should have passed tenth with minimum fifty percentage marks and national trade certificate in computer operator and programming assistant. One year training period. Next is for freshers, for fitter, electrician and machinist, should pass tenth with minimum fifty percentage marks with science and maths under. 
12th system or its equivalent 2 years is the training period next is for carpenter and painter qualification needed is the same and the period of training is 2 years for welder also the same 10th with minimum 50 percentage marks under 12th grade or its equivalent the period of training is 1 year and 3 months and for MLT radiology and pathology should have passed 12th class examination with physics chemistry and biology and the training period is 1 year and 3 months then candidate selected for training will not be allowed to withdraw from training except for reasons which are beyond their control and those who have willfully absent themselves are liable to refund the whole cost of their training as well as the amount paid as stipend as determined the central apprentice advisor so the next is rate of stipend for freshers that is school pass out 10th class pass out the stipend is 6000 per month and for freshers school pass out is 12 then the stipend is 7000 and for ex ita national or state certificate holders 7000 per month stipend so during the second period of apprenticeship training there shall be an increase of 10 percentage in the prescribed minimum stipend amount so 10 percentage increment in the second year of apprenticeship next we are going to check how to apply for this facility for online application will be available from 22nd may 2024 to 21st june 2024 through the official website of icf and the application will be accepted only through online mode candidates can apply through the official website before applying candidates should read the notifications thoroughly and the fill the online applications form correctly and submit before filling the application form candidates should keep uh, ready all the relevant documents or certificates and image of a recent password size photograph it size not more than 200 kb and should be in jpg format to fill the required data and upload the photograph and the system generated registration id that is candidates individual registration id and the password to generate is the date of birth so for login purpose you can use this registration id and date of birth a processing fee of 100 plus service charges as applicable that is a non-refundable amount to be paid through online mode and there is no application fees required to be paid by SCST and PWD and women candidates so at any circumstances the fees it's not refund and candidates are not uh, required to send or submit any documents including the system generated application form I icf through post or email or fax and after final submission candidates can generate the acknowledgement form from the system and candidates are advised to take the print of the application form and is required to submit at the time of a document verification and then next is mode of communication all the communications from icf administration will be sent by sms only and the select or eligible list will be uploaded in this official website then we are going to discuss about the allotment of trade fresher candidates are allowed to exercise their opinion for trades and based on the order of merit and availability of vacancy in the respective trade they will be allotted trade and once the trade is allotted request for change of trade will not be entertained and candidates select against benchmark disabilities uh, relevant trade permissibility to them once will be allotted then engagement and contract the selected ita or non-ita fresher candidates have to execute a contract of apprenticeship under apprenticeship act and original transfer certificate for completion of qualifying examination is it is 10 12th or ita must be produced during the verification of certificates so this all regarding this recruitment process hope you like this video if you like this video please like and share to your friends thanks for watching keep on watching